All right, guys, welcome back. Good to see you, guys and dolls, stoners and vapesters alike, because we got something today that you're all going to enjoy. We're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from Bay Smokes. They sent me a bunch of stuff here. We got all these different disposable vapes as well as pre-filled cartridges. We got some THCP plus Delta 8. We got some THCJD plus Delta 8. We also got the Delta 8 in the one gram cartridge. And then the one we are going to be trying out today for the first time ever. And you guys are going to witness it. The Delta 10. So I'm going to tell you guys a little about the differences between Delta 8 and Delta 10 THC. And I am also going to be partaking on some of this Delta 10. Maybe we'll mix it up with some Delta 8 too. Seems like that would make some Delta 9. Not really sure about that. But we're going to give it a shot today on Indoor Smokers. Stay right where you's at. All right, guys. Now, all of these products can be purchased from Bay Smokes, but I'm not sure, depending on which state you are in, whether or not that is legal. These are legal in the majority of states, even in some states where marijuana is illegal. You can still get Delta 8, Delta 10, different variations of the Deltas. Um, Texas, right now, it is actually legal to get both Delta 8 and Delta 10, although they did have some legislation passed that banned Delta 8 statewide. That was actually reversed by an injunction from the court so at least for right now as far as I know you can still buy Delta 8 products in Texas anyways check the laws in your state so you know whether or not it is legal and then go over to basesmokes.com and order yourself up some Delta 8 and Delta 10 variants whoops that's the wrong Delta my bad that's the COVID Delta but all right guys I am happy to be doing this video today, super excited, because I have been dealing with a lot of stress from the whole business, the e-bike store, all of that kind of stuff. So I've been kind of desperate to look for some way to sort of relax and unwind a little bit. So I'm hoping that this Delta 10 can really hit the spot, give us that relaxation high we've been looking for. So all right guys, I'm just gonna use my handy dandy little vape pen here. It has three settings on it. You just click it three times. It goes red, green, blue, that kind of a thing. Low, medium, high. We have it right now in the blue, which is the middle setting I believe on this. But if we don't get enough off it, we'll kick it up. So this is your one gram cartridge from Bay Smokes. It is a Delta 10. Now from the stuff I've been actually reading up a little bit on Delta 10 versus Delta 8, Seems like Delta 10 is supposed to be a little bit more mild, relaxing. They were saying that Delta 10 basically improves focus and energy and also kicks in creativity and alertness. And Delta 8 is known for um, increasing appetite, kicking in relaxation kind of feelings, and is also known for helping you sleep at night. So I don't know, just in general, to me, it seemed a little bit more like Delta 10 takes after kind of a sativa high, a little bit more boost of energy, creativity, that type of thing. Delta 8 is going to give you a little bit more of that couch lock, sort of relaxed, sleepy type of feeling. So I guess it depends on what you're going for. Both of them are supposed to be great for relief from anxiety and stress. So that's going to be perfect. And like I said, we'll start off with the Delta 10. I have not smoked anything today. So this Delta 10 is going to be on a fresh, sober head. And I'll be able to tell exactly what happens. Then I may mix it up a little bit with some Delta 8. And like I said, we're going to mix us some Delta 9 inside the body. See how that does. It's like making cocktails in your mouth, I guess. Anyways, guys, this is my first hit on the Delta 10. And this one is train rack. The other ones we had were the Skittles with a Z and the Tangy Tits. Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. Tangy Tits. So these are both versions of the Delta 8. The um, train wreck is what we're trying right now in the Delta 10. Let's smoke it up and let's see what it do. Here we go. Hit on the Delta 10. Oh, 
Help me, Tom Cruise. Oh, help me, baby Jesus. Woo! I gotta say right off. This thing hits. Damn. Man, I'll tell you that. Not a real strong skunk taste or smell to it. That one kind of hit me, dude. It went right to the brain. Kind of got a little bit of that pressure behind the eyes. That may be from coughing my lungs. I'm not completely sure. Woo! But that thing really smokes. Seems to hit a little bit bigger than the um, <coughs> pre-filled cartridge we looked at last time that had the built-in battery already with it. Maybe that's just because I got a fresh charge on my battery. So it's hitting it a little bit harder. But either way, man, these carts really kick it in. All right, let's <coughs> do that like two more times. And then I'll give you guys my impressions of it. That's right. <coughs> I'm doing impressions. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't hit it quite so <laughs> big. I was prepared this time. Nice. I handled my shite, man. Woo! All right, we're going to do one more. <clears throat> Woo! I'm feeling it already. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like that, that weighted blanket. <clears throat> Have you seen the commercials for that? It's like the heavy blanket. It's supposed to be soothing and calming, you know, and <clears throat> I don't know, make you feel like you're in the womb or something. But anyways, that's kind of like what I feel over my whole body. Kind of like that little bit of gentle pressure, kind of just soothing me. Woo! And... I do feel a little bit in my head, like I said. I've got a little bit of that high pressure behind the eyes kind of feeling, but not too intense. It's not making me feel too muddled or too dookie-headed. I feel funny. But I like it, guys. <coughs> I gotta say, if I lived in an illegal state where I couldn't get weed or any kind of other marijuana products, I would definitely be down for this as an alternative, man. If you're not somebody who has a really high tolerance, you're going to get high off of it. All right, rather than taking a couple more hits off this, let's switch it up to one of the Delta 8s and see what happens when you combine the two. So, all right, we got our two kinds of Delta 8 here. Tangy Tits and Skittles. <coughs> I guess I'll go with the Skittles. Even though I do like the name of Tangy Tits, this one is a hybrid. This one's an Indica. And I already feel like I'm kind of right on the verge of getting pretty high. So I think an Indica is going to be a nice way to just court, just court a sort of. <laughs> I wish I would have. Woo! I'm telling you, man. Good times. <laughs> All right. And then each cartridge, if I didn't show you, comes with a little rubber cap on the bottom. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. See, I can still say that I ain't too high. And then a little rubber seal on the top. Just gonna screw it right down like so. And here we go. <coughs> oh. Still a nice hit on this. I don't feel like it's as harsh as the Delta 10. I will say that. This one didn't really kick off any kind of a coughing fit. I wasn't praying for my life. I'm feeling in control. All right, there we go, man. I could kind of feel it like kick me a little to the left. Boom, you know? It kind of swerved <laughs> the trajectory of my eye just like a little bit now. But yeah, definitely relaxing. Definitely give me that kind of warm, you know, like I said, heavy blanket kind of feeling on my body. I would definitely say... This is something, if you are looking for relief from anxiety, stress, just a way to unwind in the evening or on the weekend, these Delta products for people who don't have access to legal weed, I think are pretty freaking awesome, man.
As far as which one, it just probably depends on you. They have those different properties I mentioned. One thing I did hear is that the Delta 10 has a little bit less of the psychotropic effects where Delta 8 may be a little bit more in that. So depending on basically what we consider the high in getting high, how much of that you're looking for. If you want more of the relaxation, the anxiety and stress relief, but you don't want to feel super high, then maybe the Delta 10 would be the better way to go. If you want to get high, Delta 8 might be the way to go. But you know, do like me and have them both around the house. I just wanted to say, once again, thank you so much to Bay Smokes for sending me out these awesome Delta 8, Delta 10 products, man. I love it. Really gave me a good motivation for coming out and shooting this video today. Plus, that last Delta 8 video I did really did a lot better than most of the other videos. It's like I was telling you guys, anything that isn't vape-related topics right now always do better for me, whether it's a story time or, you know, an alternative product like these Delta 8s. I think some of it may just be that the popularity of weed products and especially this brand new Delta 8s, Delta 10s, things like that, have a little bit more interest out there. Another part of it very well could be YouTube suppressing vape shit right now. Who knows for sure. But anyways, I appreciate everybody checking out this video. Hopefully this one does pretty well too. I do enjoy reviewing these products for you guys. And somebody had mentioned I needed to do a... <laughs> needed to do a stoned history video using some of the Delta 8 or Delta 10 products and hit that while I'm doing the video. That's a great idea. So I will try to come back and do that again soon. I feel like I'm just kind of lingering <laughs> down, man. I'm rambling, but I'm not really going anywhere specific, just sort of rambling in general. But all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up like a Christmas present because I'm lit up like an old Christmas tree right now. That really did just roll in, I guess, being Christmas season and all. But if you guys do want to check out some of the Delta 8, Delta 10 products, some of the stuff I looked at here, you can get that from basemokes.com. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe to this channel, ring the little bell, and click all so you get all the notifications when the videos go up. We are going to be looking at some brand new vape products in the next week or two. We're probably going to be looking at a little bit more of these Delta 8, Delta 10 kind of products. I want to get some gummies going on in here, maybe a couple other edible type things. Maybe they got something you can dab on. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll show it to you guys. If you enjoyed yourself at any time during this video or you like these Delta 8, Delta 10 product reviews, then please do give us a thumbs up. They're greatly appreciated. And as always, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on Delta 8s, Delta 10s, especially if you have tried one, the other, or both, giving me your opinions, which one you like better, which ones you think do what to you differently, basically. Now I sound like when I was being interrogated by my fifth grade counselor. About, about what the gym teacher did to me. <laughs> Damn, guys. All right. I am high. So. <laughs> All right. I'm going to blow up out of here like a puff of smoke from Base Smokes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you next time. Peace. I'm out. God damn, guys, my poopy head, it, it turned gray, like the gray dog poop and you find out in the yard. You know, whatever did happen, when I was a kid, you used to see that gray poop all the time. I hardly ever see it anymore. What the hell happened to the gray poop, guys? Give me your theories down in the comments.